Thing on me, are you? No, 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 no. Just uh, practicing my golf swing. <laughs> Where did that pesky seal get to? I very nearly had him. Me too. Well, then it's yours. I insist. No, 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 no. I couldn't do that. You saw him first. Hey, He's yours. Hey, hey, hey! hey, hey. Mm, thanks for the push, you guys. I'll be seeing you later. Hey. <laughs> Oh, well, win some, lose some, eh? What's all that stuff on your face there? It, uh, keeps the sun off. It's been very hot here lately. Yes, funny you should say that. It never used to be like this, did it? And it's dashed uncomfortable. Maybe it's got something to do with those foreign rats I've been seeing by the caves, eh? Surely not. They can't make the sun any hotter, can they? Um, er, uh, the sun's up there, actually. Naturally, I know that. You think I'm blind or something? Can you tell me what that is over there? Look. Hmm? Mm, I think somebody must be looking at us. I don't know why. Well, I must be going. The sun is much too hot for me, old boy. TTFN! <laughs> Not one living thing. I'm not surprised. If I was a polar bear, I'd have left ages ago. It's freezing here. I'd go someplace warmer with more food. I'm starving. Well, that's no surprise. You got any idea where they might have gone? Mm. Huh? Well, maybe hunters drove them away. Hmm, don't think so. The only ones allowed to hunt them are the local Inuit people, and they can only use traditional methods. They've been doing it for centuries. Why would the bears disappear now? True. And No House said the number of bears was rising, too. Well, it's a mystery to me, too. What do we do now? Well, we keep looking. If the locals are allowed to hunt them, then they might know where to find them. Hey, looks like a boat over there. I guess that's where we'll find a local. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing here? Looking for polar bears. Or what for? Research. Oh, well. <laughs> Research away. Why is he looking at me like that, eh? Any luck with the uh, fishing? Only been here an hour, eh? I'm trying to catch seals, not fish. The fish is for bait. Mm. What's the trouble? I, uh... I think the bait is getting to him. Oh, or if you want to find bears, I just saw one. About 15 minutes ago. We can find him if you like. That'd be great. Will it take long? I don't know. 10 minutes or 10 hours. Who knows? 
Hungry work, bear watching. Whoa, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You might find him somewhere around here. Good luck. Thank you. And thanks for the ride. And thanks for all the fish. Goodbye, eh? Bye. 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 So, <laughs> so what do we do? What's that? What's what? Can't you hear it? It's a plane. Look. But we're miles off the air routes. What on earth is it doing out here? It could be supplies for a scientific expedition, maybe. Home sweet home, man. That's great. Uh, how much longer are we gonna be stuck out here, number one? This is our last run. Once we've unloaded this lot, we can seal off the dump for good. Here, take over, two. Uh, yeah, but what about the poisonous bits when we're gone? Poisonous bits? You mean the CFC gases? Who cares? Nobody lives down there anyway, except for fishes and polar bears. Hey, you flying this kite, or am I? I thought you was doing the flying. You're number one, Juan. You clown, I said, take over. You're still an automatic pilot. Now we'll have to go all the way around again, thanks to you. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Maybe I imagined it. It could be a mirage brought on by hunger. Well, it was there and now it isn't. And I don't think it was a disappearing snowdrift. Let's go see where that bear went. I wonder if there's anything to eat on this island. Ice cream, lovely chocolate ice cream with 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 chopped nuts and ooh, ooh, I wish I had not thought of that. Doody do, doody do, doody do. Did you hear something just then? Yeah, it sounded like slowly. Where is he? He was just over there. Oh no, five minutes and we've lost him. Slowly. Slowly, where are you? Slowly, I'm slow. Here. Where's here, slowly? We can't see you. Over to the left, there. Here, down here. Slowly, you all right? What happened? I'm fine, I think. I'm a little lightheaded, but that's probably hunger. Well, it didn't affect him that much. What are you doing down there? I was just walking along when the ground opened up and I fell in. He must have stepped on a covered crevasse. Lucky it wasn't deeper. Come on, Dalian. Let's get down and give him a hand. Hey, this isn't just a crevasse. It's an ice cave. Nope, it's a whole bunch of caves. And that passage goes off into solid rock. This must have been covered by ice for thousands of years. Just think, nobody's been here before us. Then whose footprints are these? Hey, bear tracks. I think we just found out where our friend the polar bear went. The tracks go this way, come on. Look, the footprints turn off into this side of the cave. Well, guess there's nothing for it. Hello, anyone there? Anyone at home? Nobody. Uh, ah! oh. And what sort of creature might you be? I'm a panda, a, a red panda. Never heard of them. What are you doing here? Uh, we're looking for polar bears, sir. Well, now you found one. Wow, he's huge. Well, now, you look like a distant relative, boy. What's your name? Well, sir, I'm Slow Lee. And I'm Bamboo Lee, and this is, uh... Hi! Darlene's the name. Hmm, uh, well then, I'm pleased to meet you. My name's Shackleton. What brings you here, Shackleton? That's Mr. Shackleton to you. 
People have been digging through these caves. I fell through the ice. But why would anyone want to excavate old caves? I think this might be a question for know-how. Let's get out of these tunnels and call Ai-Ai. Who? You'll see. Nothing to worry about. So there you are. The master's been worried sick about you, you know. You might call in once in a while. Uh, we got a little sidetracked, Ai-Ai. Could we have the communicator, please? Hello? Know how, you there? Of course I'm here. And where are you, Bambuli? I've been worried. We're at the Greenland coast. We've had a few problems, but we did find a polar bear. Yes, yes, very good. But, but, there's something more disturbing I want you to look at. What's that? The latest infrared satellite pictures show a sudden drop in the ozone levels towards the North Pole. It's a complete mystery. It's always been the South Pole that suffered before. What's making it happen, sir? That's what I'm asking you to find out. As far as I'm able to tell, only a massive concentration of certain gases called CFCs would have this effect. They're used in aerosols and packaging. Oh, in ice boxes too. But there's none of the industrial activity you need to have such concentrations in Arctic areas. Do you think those caves have something to do with the ozone layer? I'm not sure of anything, but it's sure worth checking out. Come on, you guys. You too, Mr. Shackleton. But what about me? Why don't I come along, eh? Madam, I can barely get through some of these tunnels myself. Oh. Oh, so I'm overweight now. Is that what you're saying? Indeed not, madam. But I would hate to think of one so fair and so charming as yourself becoming entrapped in the ice. Oh, get on with you now. Well, off you go then. Oh, hear that? Fair and charming, he said, you know. Actually, the bear family is notorious for its poor vision. Oh, yes. What's that? What's what? That noise! It's a... it's a plane! Goodness gracious me! It's gone! Now where can it be? You know, there's something very fishy about all this. We must have walked for miles! Where can this lead Maybe to? Maybe this could lead to the kitchen? I don't think so, slowly. Whatever they're keeping down there, they want to keep it secret. Maybe they're just taking real good care of their food. Well, if they are, they... <gasps> must have an awful lot of it to take care of. Wow! Good grief. Just think mm. how much food you could keep in here. The floor's smooth. It must be artificial. But why build a place like this? Maybe those blocks have something to do with it. Let's check in with know-how again. I don't like the look of these. Me neither. I don't think this is a kitchen after all. My sentiments exactly. Okay, Darlene. Let's... Darlene? Oh. Come and look at these. They're weird. Oh, well... Metal. I wonder what's under this ice. Allow me. An ice box? Gosh, we're in the kitchen after all. Nope, it's empty. This is totally bizarre. Yes, indeed. But why would anyone store thousands of ice boxes down here? Transfer me someplace warmer? 
Well, number one, I thought long and hard about your request. And, yes? You see, I could have you transferred here to my yacht in Hawaii, if you get this right. If only those Eskimos had bought the ice boxes like everybody else, but no, they claim they don't need them in the Arctic. Ha! As if I care what they need. And now those same ice boxes are just hanging around full of CFC gases, and the cost of safe gas disposal is huge. It's cut my profit margin right down to 89%. Ask him why we have to stay in Greenland, Juan. Why can't we shut up? Go and finish loading those ice boxes. Why do we have to stay here, boss? Because if I can't dump these ice boxes, I'll have to hide them. And can you think of anywhere they're less likely to come looking? No, 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 no. It's foolproof. You stay there and run the operation, and we'll see about Hawaii. Um, I think we got visitors, Juan. Uh, just a minute, sir. We seem to have some intruders. What? I put you in charge of a simple security job and you give me intruders? I am not pleased, one. What should we do? Do I have to explain everything to you, you numbskull? Make sure they, whoever they are, never get out. Yes, boss. Because if they do get out and the world finds out about this dump, I will lose a lot of money and you three will stay where you are permanently. Now, get going, you idiot. Yes, boss. <laughs> Why on earth are you doing this? Why don't we just leave? Because we need evidence. Remember what Noho told us about CFC gases and ice boxes? Well, this is an illegal rat code dump. And it's my bet it's what's causing the damage to the ozone layer, and we need proof. You're not getting anything anywhere. You're gonna spend the rest of your lives down here. Okay, three, do your stuff. What are you doing? Wait and see. Wait and see. I'm in place now. I'm just stepping inside. Yeah! Okay, you dummies. Take a secret passage to the hangar. <laughs> Great. We're stuck in the world's biggest deep freeze. And listen. They must still be collapsing doors as they go. Even if we got through that one, we'd still be stuck. Not necessarily. What? Well, if one can't get out through the door, get out through the wall. What do you mean? I mean, stand back. <laughs> wow. Through the wall like a knife through butter. Oh, I wish I hadn't said that. No, it's only a thin wall. I'm through to snow already. Soon have us out of here and... Uh, Out into the sea. There's a little ice beach, but you can't get up onto the top of the cliffs, and it's too cold for you chaps to swim. You'll freeze to death. So we're still stuck. Unless Shackleton can go get help. Good thinking. I'll see if I can find a new friend of mine. He has a boat. Back soon. I hope he knows what he's doing. Say the pictures were fakes. Dear me, 
Not really. I remember where I picked you up from and Shackleton's tunnel into the dump is still there. If someone goes back and checks the story, we got him. So that'll have to do it for now. One day we might get Racco out of the area for good. But until then... Until then, we'll just have to thank you both for all your help. Take the pictures to the newspapers. That's all the thanks we need. Well, goodbye. And keep an eye on the news. There should be something worth watching before long. And keep out of the sun if you can. We can only hope the ozone layer will reform, but as yet, nothing's certain. Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Ah, welcome aboard. Well done, well done. That's the way we do things at Ratco. Mission accomplished. I think you three can look forward to a rather more comfortable posting, shall we say, uh, Tahiti? Oh, great! Thanks to you, Mr. Leone. Hubba hubba, Tahiti. Surf's up. <laughs> no more? Chill, ladies. Sunburn instead. Yes, your future at Radgo looks. Wait, I'll get this. Yeah, what? Which newspaper? What do you mean, all of them? Pictures as well? Can't we say they were faked? Independent eyewitnesses, eh? Uh, oh, no, no, shut up! Uh, 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 as I was saying, your future at Radco looks short. Ain't we going to Tahiti no more? No! Your reports were inaccurate. Someone managed to get pictures of the icebox dumped to the newspapers. And then, inspectors from various environmental agencies were shown how to find the caves through a tunnel in the ice. And now, Ratko is being sued by the Inuit people. And shares in the company have bought a 90 points on Wall Street, so you ain't going to Tahiti. But, but boss, where are we going? Are we fired again? Oh, no. No, you don't get out of it that easily. Uh-oh. But you still get a poster to somewhere nice and warm. <laughs> Taking core samples in a volcano. Uh, now get out. Get out of here. Number one, number two. <laughs>